Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I thought I would do a little altered feather with you. Some of you might have seen these over on my Instagram channel. Um, I've been really enjoying making these lately. It's the perfect time of the year here in the UK to collect feathers. Um, it's autumn. And so I've been out collecting feathers and making loads of these. And there's just so many different ways that you can alter them. So I'm starting off by adding a layer of gesso here and um, then I'll give that a quick dry. Excuse my hands, they're already they're covered in clay from a project I was doing just before this one. So that's why my hands are so filthy. And when I'm drying that, um, I shall also share with you my exciting news, which is that I have actually put together a little online course for these altered feathers. Um, it's just called Altered Feathers uh, and it's over on my Teachable School, or it will be. It's going to be launched this Sunday, on Sunday the 13th of November. And it includes seven different feathers um, and different ways that I alter them. So that would be uh, lots of different techniques from jello printing, image transfers, there's absolutely all sorts on there. Um, it's only £23 plus tax, which varies depending on where you are. Um, and I will add the little trailer to that at the end and link it, uh, put the link down in the description if you're interested in heading over there and taking a look. But back to this one, I did a second layer of gesso and now I am uh, going to add some of my watercolours directly to this plastic sheet that I'm working on. A bit of pink, a bit of purple and a little bit of blue. There we go. And I'm going to turn my feather over and just dip it directly into those colours and see what I get. that love that just a few more dips to pick up some more of that color love it so just wiping up the rest of that watercolors with rest of the watercolor and uh, I'll give that another dry and these are absolutely gorgeous for adding to your journal pages um, actually they look quite nice just on their own you could frame them I think they would look really cool I'm gonna add I'm grabbing my Posca pen chalk marker in neon pink and adding some dots there's something about turning found something you found um, and picked up into a piece of artwork that just really appeals to me and um, they're just so much fun to make. I'm just colouring the top in so I've got a little pink, t pink tip and just blending it with my finger. So that's all I'm going to do um, in terms of background. It's so simple but so effective. That's how it's looking. And all I am going to do now is find some words to go on it. So I'm grabbing my, uh, this is one of the books that I've been using recently. It's a bit battered now, but it has got some brilliant words in it. It's funny how uh, just picking up random books from a charity shop, you can find some really, some really good words in them. I haven't actually read this book. Um, it seems like someone from flicking through some, it's about a, a girl who um, ends up somehow going back in time um, to rescue her brother that's also been sucked back in time. I don't know. It seems quite odd. Um, but anyway, it's got great words. The words I got from it for this feather was what would they see? I don't know why I picked that. Just something about that. Those four words appealed to me today. 
So I'm just using a bit of Fabri-Tac glue to stick that directly onto the feather. And that is done, ready to be added to a journal page or something. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you'll um, head over and check out the course and um, I'll see you on here again soon. Take care. Bye now. Thank mm -hmm. you.